Conflicting reports tonight on whether the U.S. will soon indict Julian Assange on spying charges. But in our third story, one Republican congressman, Ron Paul of Texas, argues that the public's hostility towards WikiLeaks is misguided. In fact, leaks provide the citizens of the nation a great service. Remember the Pentagon, Pentagon Papers, the man behind the release of those documents. Daniel Ellsberg will join us in a moment. An attorney for Assange expecting indictments soon telling ABC News any prosecution under the Espionage Act would, in my view, be unconstitutional and puts at risk all media organizations in the U.S. Earlier this week, the Attorney General, Mr. Holder, confirming he ordered a criminal probe, claiming the leaks put the country at risk. But in a sign the Justice Department is perhaps struggling with how to proceed, one official tells NBC News today that legal action against Assange, quote, is not imminent. This, as the House Judiciary Committee plans its first hearing on WikiLeaks, scheduled for next week, and while lawmakers from both parties have expressed interest in giving the government new authority to prosecute the leaks, Republican Congressman Ron Paul of Texas taking to the House floor in support of Assange and WikiLeaks. The hysterical reaction makes one wonder if this is not an example of killing the messenger for the bad news. Despite what is claimed, information so far released, though classified, has caused no known harm to any individual, but it has caused plenty of embarrassment to our government. The truth gained from the Pentagon Papers revealed that lies were told about the Gulf of Tonkin attack, just as with the Vietnam War, the Iraq War was based on lies. We were never threatened by weapons of mass destruction or al-Qaeda in Iraq, though the attack on Iraq was based on this false information. Do the American people deserve to know the truth regarding the ongoing war in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Yemen? Why is the hostility mostly directed at Assange, the publisher, and not our government's failure to protect classified information, which has resulted in the greatest number of deaths? Lying us into war or WikiLeaks revelations or the release of the Pentagon Papers. Joining me now is promised the man behind the release of the Pentagon Papers, Daniel Ellsberg, the subject of the documentary, The Most Dangerous Man in America. Pleasure to have you here, sir. Uh, the State Department said that Assange has a political objective and that precludes him from being considered a journalist. So a political objective, that means they'd have to prosecute the Democratic Party or Fox News or the League of Women Voters? They'd, is have, it, is, is they'd this be happy just, to do that. Or is this, this just a, an excuse? For, I would for, say that is an excuse. By the way, that's a fascinating clip you just did. For Mr. Paul, I agree yes. with everything he said. He said it very well. I couldn't say it better. It's not the first time with Ron Paul. I often disagree with him on domestic policy, mm -hmm. on foreign policy, on the Constitution, on homeland security, on intervention. He speaks very well, and I think what he just said was exactly right. Um, if the U.S. indeed indicts Julian Assange, what, ha what does that mean for the First Amendment? Well, there have been a number of indictments already before. Uh, mine was the very first. Before mm -hmm. me, no one had ever been indicted for uh, giving information to the American public for disclosing under the Espionage Act or any other act. But since then, uh, before Obama, there were two others. One of those, Obama, President Obama dismissed against the APAC uh, former employees. Mm -hmm. Obama actually has, uh, this. if he indicts uh, in this case, he will have indicted five. Already he's indicted four more than all previous presidents put together. So he's already, his defense, his Justice Department is already considering the Espionage Act as if it were an official secrets act, a British official secrets act, which it was not intended to be. But as I say, other Justice Departments have mm -hmm. tried that before. The real difference would be if there is a conviction in any one of these cases, and it's upheld by the Supreme Court, which takes the case. This has never happened. Right. If that happens, then we have an official secrets act, uh, formerly called the Espionage Act. And uh, that will be very serious. It will mean that uh, unauthorized disclosures of the kind that appear every other day in the New York Times, mm -hmm. creditably, it's what makes the New York Times indispensable, I would say, one of the major factors, those will dry up very considerably. Yeah. People like Bob Woodward, who would be indictable under this, or Cy Hirsch, may well go to jail when they're brought in front of a grand jury in order to tell who their sources were for the classified documents they've directly quoted, or the Times reporters. But a lot of them won't, and will have a lot less knowledge of uh, exactly what we're doing and what we plan in the way of foreign policy. And we have too little now. That led to Iraq. It led to Vietnam. Uh, those weren't caused by too many leaks. Those were caused by the absence of leaks beforehand. Uh, speaking of them, you have a, a sort of a, a wish list of WikiLeaks, a few items that you'd specifically like. Can you go into some brief details? Well, one of, the, one of them, which I've had for some time, I would like to see 
uh, the current classified estimate of the strength of the Taliban we're facing in uh, Afghanistan, the mm -hmm. order of battle, they call it, and to compare that to last year before President Obama's escalation. We've had a year now. My guess is, strongly, that it will show them to be larger than they were before. Of course. It raises the question of how much is it worth to us to strengthen the Taliban in the future, and does that really improve our security or weaken it? Mm -hmm. The other thing I'd like to see is uh, the Pentagon Papers of Afghanistan and Iraq, we don't have those. The current WikiLeaks people didn't have access to those. High-level, top-secret decision papers and estimates. I'd like to see those, of, and of Yemen, and of uh, uh, a number of other places, actually. Somalia, uh, where, we're, where we're intervening. Uh, Yemen, mm -hmm. I said, Pakistan, very definitely. I mentioned Bob Woodward. His latest book comes very close to being the Pentagon Papers of this latest escalation. I really learned a lot from it. Mm. He it seems to cite dozens, if not hundreds, of classified top secret documents of the kind I'd like. I would like to see the whole document. So if Woodward uh, doesn't put them on the web with minor redactions that he considers necessary for security, and indeed, uh, with, if this is indictment occurs, he would face prosecution if he did put them on. He'd face prosecution for his latest book. So he could send them to WikiLeaks. Daniel Ellsberg, the upcoming documentary is called The Most Dangerous Man in America. What a title to have. Uh, an American Hero would be another title. A great pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you for coming in. Thank you.